Hafade, and welcome. Thank you so much for watching the Downloadathon, where we are encouraging every single Guamanian everywhere, from Jigo all the way down to Umatic, to install the Guam COVID Alert app. I have another friend of mine joining me on Zoom right now, the very lovely Samantha Titano, the executive director of Manielu, who reaches out to our freely associated states residents. And, and Sam, that's why I wanted to bring you in here because you know we're we said we're trying to get two thirds of Guam, mm -hmm. seventy five thousand installs and everything. It's a very achievable goal. We can do that very easily. But, you know, when people say like our FAS residents, um, people who may have came here from other places throughout Micronesia, we're all Guamanians now. We all share this wonderful island. This is our home. And so by that merit, um, we're encouraging every Guamanian, including, you know, um, people who came here to run the app. Would you agree? Yes, uh, definitely. Um, we've kind of been part of, you know, uh, trying to promote the app uh, with all of the clients and the people that we serve. Um, everybody who's kind of follows us on Instagram on, and on Facebook, uh, you know, we put out the message as well. Um, we've attended some of the, the the marketing kind of meetings that we that they've had prior to launching it, so that we could fully understand, you know, the impact that the app is going to have on the island. And so, you know, we've been encouraging people to to really Really download the app you know it doesn't matter where you're from you know this is this is Guam you know we are always promoting one Micronesia and it, it doesn't matter because everybody you know is going to be taking a part in helping stop the spread and you know part of that is by you know making sure you have this app so that you know you can be a little bit more aware um, when it comes to contact tracing. Mm -hmm. What have the communities that, that you deal with you know over at Manielu because you guys do so much outreach and provide so many um, services and you know the message that you have is so uplifting and positive um, but is there any like hesitation or any like you know um, tentativeness from, from people that you've, you've dealt with about like the app like you know uh, I want to but I don't really know what it does or you know what what's been your reaction? Um, so to be honest, um, some some of the challenges that um, we kind of encounter is just maybe that there, there's only one phone per a household, or you mm. know maybe people don't you know have um, reliable data. So those are kinds of the the issues that we've seen. I haven't heard too much about people being kind of skeptical ske skeptical of the app. It's more of just like um, being able to download the app in the first place. Okay, well, you know, the app is available for iOS and Android, and you can go to your app store or you can go to uh, guamcovidalert.guam.gov and check it out if you would like more information. We highly suggest that you do so, um, and thank you. Um, Sam, the last eight months on Guam history have been, you know, just uh, indescribable, I guess is the right word and everything. Uh, from your vantage point and as someone who is a, a leader in our community, you know, what do you see and what have you got to say about the situation we are in right now? Um, I, I think that uh, right now, um, our island and just kind of the whole world is going through a very traumatic experience. And so, you know, it's really about, um, you know, if you think about it, you know, we're, we're experiencing all of this fear and all of this anxiety um, and uncertainty, of course, you know, people losing their jobs, people, you know, passing away from this disease. And so I think, you know, it's just really about, you um, kind of making sure that we, we really take the time to take care of our mental health and, and, to, and to kind of really just join together as a community. So, I, you know, I do see a lot of people that, you know, there's, there's differing opinions, um, but I think that for the most part, people just want to kind of remain safe and are, are kind of taking those steps to, to kind of help us, you know, as they say, flatten the curve and, and kind of overcome um, a lot of these a high number of cases by, you know, staying home. So, you know, although we do see people out and about, I think that people are, you know, still being cautious and, and still, you know, um, just just trying to kind of get through everything and, and still stay connected with their family and friends. I think that that's one of the, the biggest things um, that's been a challenge is that, you know, we're, as human, we are social beings. We want to see other people. And, and I think that's kind of the, the challenge that we've all been facing is just kind of getting used to, you know, right now we can't be together because we'll be together again soon once this is all over. Well, on Guam, we, we are always together, you know, in spirit. I mean, yeah, you know, our, you know, we hurt because we can't live life as normal, but, you know, we know what we have to do. And, you know, it, it, for me, it's, it's weird because, you know, as someone who works in software and, 
people think about, you know, the, the distribution of software and they say, okay, we've got an app out here. Make sure that you hit those particular neighborhoods or, you know, you advocate to those communities or that ethnic group or that age demographic. I always look at it the other way and I say, you know, okay, we're going to go out, we're going to go into, as, as you would with your very fine work with Manil, we're going to spread the word and we're going to say, we need you more than ever with this service and with this technology, we're relying on you to run this because we, we literally are all in this together. Yes, and you know, a part of what we've been doing to, to really make sure that people keep and stay informed is we've been translating a lot of the information into Chukis, Pompeii, and Koshirayan, yes. and Yakis. And so we, we try to our best to kind of have that information out. And then also, um, you know, thanks to a lot of partnerships, we've been able to kind of deliver food to families and communities that, you know, maybe they don't have transportation to go get food. Um, so while doing that, we're all, we've also been printing out all of our notices, all of the like important reminders that we get um, and that we've translated and we're able to pass out that information as well. So that if, if, if they've not been able to kind of see it on their phones or see it on the news, you know, that we're, we're able to provide them with a hard copy. So. Mm -hmm. Well, and our friends and our partners, I know we've got some prize things going on right now because we want to make sure that, that you know, people even have incentives to do it. Maybe they might be able to wear, to win, um, a wonderful pair of earrings like you've got on right now. Those are lovely. Thank you. Uh, these are from Blue Latitude. <laughs> yep. Okay. Blue Latitude. But shout out to Blue Latitude. Yeah, those are really, really nice. But um, yeah. Sam, we'll, we'll give you the final word now because again, you've done so much and you always want to be positive, but also be practical and be pragmatic to every, every you know, everybody, every, every walk of life on Guam, you know, not just a particular people from one particular island or a territory and everything. Uh, what have you to say um, to people about why installing this app, something as simple as just installing an app on your phone, why this is so important to us as Guamanians and for our way of life. You know, it's really just so important because like you said, it's something simple. It's something simple that you can do that can make a huge impact and it can kind of let you know what's going on. You know, help you to keep the people that you love safe you know it doesn't matter where you're from you want to stay safe you want your family to stay safe you want your loved ones to stay safe you don't want to be the person who passes it on to you know a grandparent and you know something bad happens you know you 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 want to have it in your clear conscience you know that you know you've been taking all of the steps necessary and just downloading this app is a simple way that you can help keep everybody on the island safe. Okay, everybody watching the stream right now, just rewind, scrub back about 45 seconds, listen to what Sam just said, then do it again, listen to it, then do it again, because that that was gold right there. Sam, I, I couldn't have said or written it better myself. Thank you so much for, for your wisdom and your leadership, and, you know, and we really appreciate what you're doing and helping us to make sure that everybody on Guam runs this app. It's very important. Thank you, Sam. Thank you guys so much for having me. And, you know, I hope everybody is on their phone right now downloading it. Absolutely. Guam at covidalert.guam.gov. Everybody, uh, Sam, thank you much. And we wish you, your team and your family uh, safety and best of health. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.